And tonight, a growing and potentially dangerous trend is showing up at crime scenes like the ones that you just saw. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives reports it's seeing more and more illegal gun sales by unlicensed dealers. They don't have the required federal firearms license. Yeah, it's not just the paperwork or even the $200 fee that they're trying to avoid. Our Jesse de Goyado has the story. As you can see behind me, we see a lot of pistols. We do see a lot of long guns. The kind of weapons ATF says are considered hot commodities, especially by a growing number of unlicensed dealers, as well as their buyers, often willing to pay extra to avoid failing the required background checks. Cartels being among the biggest customers. They seek out unlicensed dealers to buy long guns. Uh, in some cases, you know, military style weapons. Weapons bound for Mexico or someone's neighborhood. The ATF says there have been cases where the guns were used the same day they were bought. And then used in several shootings before they're actually recovered by law enforcement. Where are they getting them? ATF says they're sold on websites, social media, and other platforms. That's where a lot of the online sales come from, and that just provides just a wide audience for people to buy and sell firearms. The assistant special agent in charge says sellers without a federal firearms license capitalized on the wave of online shopping during the pandemic. But he says gun owners can still sell firearms they've used. But if you're buying the gun to turn around and sell it, then you're engaged in the business. If done unknowingly, ATF will send a warning letter and an application for a federal firearms license. But if unlicensed sales continue, sellers could face up to a $250,000 fine and up to five years in federal prison. Our message is don't do it. He says it would go a long way in making communities safer and help curb the trafficking of illegal firearms. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.